Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to explain how you can edit your login page using Elementor to have a better design. So if you watch my previous video on how to uh, create this membership and use the login and registration page, I'm just going to show you from here, which is a login simple page, how you can go to this um, login page using Elementor Pro and few design techniques. So let's going to go and explain you how to do it. So first thing that you need to do is access to your um, backend in WordPress. So you can just go here, dashboard, and then all page. We're going to look for login, login page. Yes. Uh, and then search for it. So in here, you will see that if you have Elementor Pro, you will go through edit with Elementor. And then here is how it displays on this right now, okay? So we want to, first of all, uh, remove this login, which is that is not part of Elementor, it's part of the theme. And then this is here on settings, you go and say page layout. We are going to use, instead of default, we're gonna use the Elementor for width, okay? As soon as you update, this login, it will disappear, okay? So we just need to update and refresh and you will see that now it's not there anymore. It's only Elementor who is displayed on the screen, okay? Cool, so in order to get to that point, okay, is that is a reference, so I'm just giving you an idea. You can use something else, but that it will be um, how you can improve your login page, okay? Um, so first thing that we can probably do is just go and edit the container. So as you can click here in this, uh, in this section, we're going to go through the style and then first of all, sorry, layout. And then here we're going to give a height of, uh, probably, um, what I would suggest is to keep the BH to do the full width. In that case, you just need to put a hundred. So if you put a hundred, it will take the full width of the screen. In that case, sorry, height of the screen, okay? And we want also to the content display in the center so that it will make the center, okay? Cool, so as you can see right now, uh, um, this login function, it will be displaying at the center. So we just need to update and then let's go to see how it displays on this side, okay? So we just need to refresh and this is at the moment in here. If you want to remove the header and the footer, as we uh, are using this uh, on the whole side, you can use this function again in here, it's called settings, that you can go and instead to put elemental full width, you can go and say canvas. So you can pick in here, say canvas, and then those header and footer it will disappear. I don't know what I did right now, but you will see that if I update those headers and footers, they will go away. And fresh. Okay, that's it. So we just have that. Now we are going to add the heading. In that case, the heading, it will be in here, this widget, and we can just put login, okay? We're just gonna make it this uh, center. And then what we can do is here on topography, we can uh, increase the size. So we're just gonna make it a little bit bigger, let's say 74. Okay, and then the color, we can pick a black one. Okay, so right now, as you can see, um, it's just, you got a different um, style and it's much better. So you can also see in as uh, an incognito and see how it displays. That's a login page for your site, which is much better. Let's gonna put something like in the background here in order to make a better design. And probably you can change even the background color instead to be white, we can change that. So how we're gonna do that? We're going back and then Okay, so here on the edit container, you can go through the style and then in the background, background type, you can pick 
classic, which is on classic, you will change the color according to you want, gradient. So this is what we are uh, doing there. In here, what we can do, what I did, is get this color. I think it was uh, more like that. Okay. And then here, what we can do now is, you see here, which is um, transparent, you just go edit, advance, and then we're gonna go here on background, and we're gonna create the background in white. Okay, we're gonna give a layout, we're gonna do probably 80 to give, and then that is uh, link values together, so you put that together into 80. And I want this width uh, to be short in that case. So what we need to do is probably go back to the container and then instead to be um, something which is too much, we can probably shorten and then 500. If you want to do that borders, make the borders so we can just go here and then on the section say style, we're going to make that border and then we can probably go through 20, okay? And let me do it here, sorry. Spa is advanced, and then do here in 20. Okay, what well, it changes this, this container, my bad. I'm just gonna remove that, okay, cool. If you want to give a little bit of um, shadow, so you just need to go here on this text editor and then give that a shadow. So it is the style, text editor, and give uh, this uh, shadow. In that case, you can just go here, as you can see now, is, I think it's fine. Okay, cool. That, I want that color. So if you select that heading, let's going to make that white. I'm gonna add the uh, as well as the I'm going back here on this content and here what I want to do is add the logo so if you go there add media and then um, select insert and much better so I think it's a little bit big so we can just small this down and make that align center okay so as you can see here is similar what we have what we need to do probably right now i'm just gonna update this okay and see how it displays okay so now if you refresh boom this is what we have in here okay cool so that is a short video but these things sometimes it take time to know how you can edit your login page on your your registration page and doing this style it probably get more engagement with your audience or with your user right you don't have to copy the full um style obviously you can change as i did before you can probably go even here and then go instead to do a gradient you can also pick a video right and I used to have a video actually here. I'm just gonna show you if you have a video that you display in there, you can go on YouTube and get the URL and go here on the video link, paste it here and you will see display this video, right? So this is kind of what you can do with Elementor Pro, right? For your login registration or for your style, okay? Please let me know if you like this kind of videos on how to design and probably get better uh, layout and, and customize your website. And I will create this more content. Um, like this video if you like it. Give me any comments if you have or questions on these comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.